G'day guys, Billy here from lostreasure.com.au Well guys, um, in my area or in the um, southern and mid-northern part of Western Australia and same goes on the other side of Australia um, back in the old days when this area was settled or the farm um, land was cleared, like all the trees and so forth to um, so the farmers could sow their crops and plant um, wheat and so forth and also one of the worst jobs besides cutting down trees would have been rock picking. I remember doing rock picking when I was a kid to help my mates out on their farms when, they were, when we were young kids. Either rock picking or melly root picking. But anyway guys, it makes me wonder uh, quite often when I pass these old um, poles or rocks what could have been picked up, you know, a hundred years ago. Um, you know, you wonder how many farmers back in those days might have accidentally picked up meteorites without realising what they were. Aboriginal artifacts like you know grinding stones and so forth um, Like as you can see just here this rock here typical um, Color of like an Aboriginal rock around this area. It's just a little indent in there You know was that used as a grinding stone back in the old days? So it's an unusual uh, rock that one there um, When you go see these rock poles you look for the rocks that stand out unusual colors um, because that means that those rocks have possibly possibly been imported or traded by other Aboriginal tribes from up north. Um, and same goes for meteorites. You know, you just don't know. There's bound to be meteorites in rock poles like this around Australia. The farmers would have picked them up not knowing what they were, and even if they did know what they were, they probably wouldn't care because they're just too focused on trying to clear the land. Uh, too focused on trying to clear the land so they could get some money to survive. So anyway guys, if you're ever driving around you know, in Western Australia and you've got the time, you see these big piles of rocks on the side of the road everywhere, why not step outside the car and go for a bit of a wander? You just don't know what you're going to find guys. You might find yourself a nice little Aboriginal tool or a stone or even a meteorite. So if you do go looking for them guys, make sure you um, take a good magnet. Alright guys, like this one here, definitely looks like an Aboriginal stone to me, this one. Grinding stone, possibly, I'm not too sure. Alright guys, well, I'll get back to my weeding. Oh, banjo! Oh no, look at that! Look, banjo! Look! Fucking meteorite! We writ! Woo! Just joking. <laughs> 